everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Today we have a long expression, the lowest common denominator. Oh yeah, let's practice. The lowest common, common denominator. Denominator, but the faster we say it, the denominator. The lowest common denominator, denominator, the lowest common denominator, the lowest common denominator, the lowest common denominator, the lowest common denominator. Now, this actually comes from math. It's a math expression. However, it also has a daily English meaning. And simply put, the lowest common denominator means the regular person. But actually, it means it has the negative nuance that the regular person is low IQ. <laughs> that guy. The guy who loves soccer or football. Do you know in ancient Rome, they had the Colosseum, right? And the emperor was there, and the politicians were there, the senators. And then the common people. <gasps> kill! Kill! Blood! Blood! <gasps> Those people are the lowest common denominator. If you're a business person, you want, not all, but most business people, they want to sell their product to everybody. But when we talk about everybody, there are many different everybodies. There's smart everybodies, there's female everybodies, there's male everybodies. There are many different types of everybody. So let's sell it to the largest audience. The largest audience is the lowest common denominator. They have money but not lots of brains. Let's look at the opposite. The opposite would be intellectual people. Seriously. Uh, rich people, smart people. That's the idea. Rich, money, smart. No money, low intelligence. It's not true. It's not true. Look at me. No money, extremely intelligent. But anyway, Mercedes Benz, BMW. Are those cars, are those cars sold to the lowest common denominator? No. They're sold to the elite class, to the rich people, to the people that have intelligence and sophistication. But what about Ford? Ford trucks. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, lowest common denominator. Yeah, get a Ford. <laughs> Coach Shane, I prefer the Ford. Although the BMW is nice. Of course, the Mercedes-Benz S series is fantastic, and the CL series, and the SL series. Yeah, I like cars. The lowest common denominator. Now, do you th is Coach Shane part of the lowest common denominator? Of course not. Shane, Coach Shane is very sophisticated. I I'll just show you a couple of my books. Herodotus, Thucydides, Xenophons, Maimonides, Alexandria. Are these books for the lowest common denominator? He's just not that into you. Bridget Jones's diary. Garfield, Fat Cat 3-Pack! The Bear Scouts. These aren't my books. I don't know where these books came from. I don't know what's going on. Wow. That was a strange collection of books. And seriously, those last four books were not my books. I don't know where they came from. But anyway, the first books those were for the elite, for the intellectual few. 
But the other four books, those are for the masses, for the general person, for the basic person. Those books are for the lowest common denominator. What are you doing? Checking out the magazines. They're for the lowest common denominator. Hello. Okay, I'll stay away. Yeah. Did you ever notice at the supermarket or the bookstore, they have lots of magazines. Did you ever notice that the theme of magazines is... Is it for the intellectual person? Scientists have discovered a new element in chemistry. The Big Bang Theory and CERN in Switzerland. How are they related? No, nobody talks about that. It's always about some Hollywood star, some, some sports star, some scandal. Yeah, the magazines at the supermarket are for the lowest common denominator. Even television. You know, I was so disappointed. I don't have a TV. I used to, and I used to watch cable TV, like the Discovery Channel, and National Geographic, and the History Channel. I really, yeah, it's like real television, documentaries, for the intellectual few. But, actually, if you think about the shows on Discovery, and National Geographic, and History, they're kind of stupid. They're not very intellectual. It's about showiness and uh, stupid things, pawning things and whatever. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Nowadays, more and more, the media, mainstream television, Hollywood, even the magazines, and some of the books too, they're, they're really making things stupid not intelligent to entertain who? To entertain the masses, the lowest common denominator. Yeah, in America more and more people are not watching TV anymore. Oh, we could say because of YouTube, sure, sure. But actually, I think a lot of people are not watching TV because we realize how stupid it is. The sitcoms nowadays, it's always about the dumb dad, or the three dumb roommates, and the one smart roommate, or the, 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 whatever, it's some, it's not intellectual humor, it's stupid humor, more and more. And I understand, it's funny, you work all day, you've got a bunch of children, you're going crazy, you need to relax, you need to stop thinking, yeah. Sometimes we need stupid entertainment, absolutely. But don't get addicted to stupid things. Sometimes they're okay, but not all the time. Remember, the nicest thing, the, 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 the greatest thing the government wants to do, I sound like a conspiracy theorist. Anyway, the greatest thing is to keep the masses happy. Go back to Rome. Go back to the Colosseum. Go back to the Emperor. Why did the Emperor have the Colosseum? To control the masses, the lowest common denominator. If they're happy, if they're watching sports and the gladiators, then they can do their other things. It's, it's, it's true. It is. I know it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it's true. Yeah, anyway. That's just my opinion. What do I know? I'm an English coach. I'm an idiot. Look at my expressions. They're for the, the intellectual few. Trust me. People who watch these videos, people who will take my DDM and PERF classes, woo, IQ high. Yeah, definitely. I'm the low IQ guy. You guys are the ones up there. I respect you. Keep it... Uh, Keep it simple, but be careful. Don't always be one of the uh, lowest common denominator. But if you're selling something, go for it. Maybe that's the problem with DDM and PERF. 
My focus is the intellectual few. Maybe I need to make English classes for the lowest common denominator. Hi, my name is Shane. What is your name? Should I do it? I'll think about that. Practice the dialogue three more times. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot. What are you doing? Checking out the magazines? They're for the lowest common denominator. Hello? Okay, I'll stay away. What are you doing? Checking out the magazines? They're for the lowest common denominator. Hello? Okay, I'll stay away. What are you doing? Checking out the magazines? They're for the lowest common denominator. Hello? Okay, I'll stay away.